If you've never heard of linear regression, then Google it right now, because this is one of the most basic concepts in all of machine learning, and there are a ton of real world machine learning problems which depend on it. This means that if you don't master it, then many advanced concepts down the road are likely to become more difficult and confusing for you. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to solve linear regression problems using a famous method known as the normal equation. And if you like this kind of content, just subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Okay, let's dive in. So we're here in deepml.com. And what we're going to do today is look at problem number 14. So it's down over here in the first page, linear regression using normal equations. So let's read the problem together. We need to write a Python function that performs linear regression using the normal equation. Uh, so the function takes in a matrix of features and a vector, which is X and a vector Y, which is the target. And what we need to do is return the coefficient of a linear regression model. And we need to round our answer down to four decimal places. So minus 0.0, .0 is a valid result for small numbers. So over here, we're actually given a 2D problem. Uh, it's actually 1D, I'll explain that in a sec. But we could theoretically do this in any number of dimensions. So our solution is going to be very general. Now, one, before we get into the solution, I want to get your attention to focus on these ones over here. So these aren't actually parts of our input vector. These were added over here. And this is a trick that people use to be able to regress the intercept or the extra coefficient um, that's used for the offset. Because if we just have these values, we always need to subtract the offset. Um, and when we add this extra one, we can actually do this all in one single line using matrix operations, which is a very nice trick. So we're going to see that in a second over here. And as you can see, the output that we uh, give is uh, 0, 0 and 1, 0, which is the offset and the slope. Very cool. So uh, we're going to get to coding in just a sec. Let's take a look at the formulation over here. So if we scroll down a little bit, uh, we have this scary looking equation, which is actually not that scary. I'm not going to show how to derive it, but all we have over here is theta, which is our um, coefficient of the linear regression model. And we have x, which is the vector of our features. Um, so x transpose, we take this matrix, which has, is of size uh, number of features by number of observations. Mm. Sorry, number of uh, observations by number of features. And we transpose it multiplied by x itself. So this is sort of like squaring um, over the squaring the vector and summing up over all the observations. And then we squaring like the features, I mean. Uh, this is used to take what's called the pseudo inverse. So this is how we can invert something that's not always invertible. If we do x transpose x and then invert it, then it's always fine. Um, because usually always fine unless we have a zero thing, which is very rare. So transpose x, then we take the inverse and then we multiply this by x transpose, take that result and multiply all of it by our target vector y. So this is just one equation that poof in one shot gives us our result. And here we're going to do it in NumPy, which is going to be very nice. So let's close this and we'll get straight to coding. So what we need to do here, we're only going to use NumPy, we're not going to do a native Python solution. First thing we need to do is convert our x and y's into NumPy arrays. So x is going to be a NumPy array and y is also going to be a NumPy array. And now we just need to write this equation. So what we need to do is theta is equal to, we said x transpose, right? Times x. So this is a matrix multiplication. Now we need to take the inverse of this thing 
So what we do is we do np.linearalgebra.inverse. That's how we invert a matrix in NumPy. And this is, by the way, this is a matrix multiplication, this symbol. So we have the first term multiplied by X transpose. That's the second term multiplied by Y. Very cool, right? That's it. And we, they said we need to round this to four decimal places and that's it. So let's see if this runs. We'll try to run all our tests and it does. So this worked perfectly. So again, I didn't show you how to derive this equation. I'll do this in a future video. And also note that we just showed you one way of how to solve linear regression using this normal equation. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do it using gradient descent.